I was reading today, uh, actually on Dr. McCola, an essay talking about the latest from the American Heart Association, which is saying that 48% of Americans have heart disease, or a combination in the, of high blood pressure, stroke, coronary heart, or coronary heart disease, and heart failure, which is CVD, which includes all of these things. I was surprised. I'm not surprised when cardiologists forget to even mention the ultimate heart medicine. But I didn't see one word on even Dr. McCullough's page about magnesium. Magnesium is the ultimate heart medicine. And 10 years ago, I wrote a book about that. They say officially, I don't remember, I think 67% of Americans are magnesium deficient. But those numbers were based on blood tests, which are very inaccurate. Today, I would say 99%. Dr. Brownstein has done tests on iodine in the Detroit area and finds 96% are deficient in iodine. Nobody gets enough magnesium today. So everybody can assume that they're magnesium deficient. Because we not only do we get less in our diet, but we need a lot more because of all the toxicity and stress and many other things. People who are on medications, pharmaceuticals, drives down the magnesium levels. On and on and on. Everybody should be on magnesium, whether it be through oral intake or transdermal, putting it on the skin, having a massage with magnesium, magnesium baths with sodium bicarbonate. Everybody needs magnesium. These 50%, or 48% actually, with heart disease, they should be on very high dosages of magnesium. It's a crime that doctors are recommending statin drugs instead of magnesium. That's a crime, medical crime. One should read Dr. Brownstein's work on statin drugs. I have some essays on my site. Magnesium. This is what put me on the medical map of the world, my book on transdermal magnesium therapy, which wasn't just about transdermal, about all kinds of forms of magnesium administration, including IVs, injections, transdermal oral. Magnesium. People are, even in the health industry, are underestimating magnesium and the power of it, the necessity of it. There's a great need. And the landscape of heart disease and diseases in general would be greatly reduced just with magnesium. Now, of course, I go on to magnesium and pair that with bicarbonate, one of the most fantastic sources of magnesium is magnesium bicarbonate, which there are different spring waters that are very high in magnesium bicarbonate. There's a concentrate you can get from Florida to make your own magnesium bicarbonate water. I, of course, through the years have used a lot of magnesium chloride specifically ancient mineral products, where it's a liquid spray, magnesium oil. Of course, you can spray it right in the mouth. You can dilute it and make it, put it in the eyes, put it all over your body, take baths and magnesium bath flakes. One of the products I'm using 
what I'm using the most these days is a product called Myomag from Integrated Health, one of the companies that, that carries a lot of my protocol items. This has um, a lot of, well, lots of B vitamins and malic acid, which I take every day. One of the products for magnesium I recommend very highly is pH Adjust. It's on the top of my protocol list. It's very inexpensive. Sodium bicarbonate, magnes uh, potassium bicarbonate, and um, magnesium. Very important to combine pH adjusting you bring the body to a more alkaline state, no matter what your disease or health situation, because the more alkaline, the more oxygen you have in your system. Another thing I recommend very highly from Russia for $50, Breath Slim, breathe, blowing bubbles, slows your breathing down. It puts a break on your breathing. does the same thing as bicarbonate. Slow your breathing, the more carbon dioxide you retain, the more your blood vessels open up, the more blood flows, the more oxygen gets delivered to the cells. Basics. There's always more things. You know, this, I'm not talking about a full protocol, but I'm talking about m mostly magnesium and specifically Bicarbonate's worth it.